All right, we can we can move on in the news. Carl, you definitely wanted to talk this first. I want to talk about this too. Diddy took time to get on socials over uh, over the past week, and he stated that R and B is dead as we know it, man. Yes, bro. Do you agree? Absolutely not. I don't agree with Diddy. I, I man, I just I I feel like I'm Squidward on this podcast. Like I'm just are, crushing bro. everybody's fucking dream. You are, bro. And, well, I mean this pod, <laughs> but I don't give a fuck. Um, we can get into the the entire is R and B dead? This this and that. And I do want to get into that so we can just clear certain things up, but. Diddy doesn't even think this shit. Diddy is on a promo run for his fucking album, and Diddy is saying things that are gonna go viral. Agreed. <laughs> I agree because um, nigga, you just put out an R&B song, with, yeah, with Bryson Tiller, with Bryson Tiller, who would be a part of what you call killing R&B. What, what, right? The game that you said is dead. But uh, no, bro. Even myself, I definitely don't think that R&B is dead. I think we're actually getting. Some of the best R&B we've had be- in a long time. Oh, yes, yes. But it's not getting recognized. Like, people like Lucky Day, Division, fucking, um, who who just dropped? What's his name? Snow Allegra. Snow Allegra. What, um, what I'm thinking? Gibeon just dropped. Like, it's, it's, it's real R&B out, man. Like, what you talking about? Um, Who am I missing? Male, right. male female. Female. And, and I kind of, like, talked about how crazy I was for her. That just dropped this year? No, it was within the last year. Um, yeah. Sorry, brother. I wish I could help. Cleo Soul. Holy oh, shit. Cleo. Yeah. Can't, can't miss that. Yeah, man. Um, but, and that's, we, we weren't even naming the big ones. I was going to say, we, we stayed away from the big ones on purpose because we can name SZA. We can name Summer. We can name Jasmine. We can name Ari. We can name Sid. We can name Duckworth. Like we can name, um, you already said, did you say Lucky Day? Yep, I said Lucky um, Day first. Sir. <laughs> like, when we start naming all of these, and I wasn't calling you sir, I was talking about sir, the R and B singer. Um, when we start naming all of these greats in R and B, it's hard to to agree with what Diddy's saying. Now, I believe R and B is a lot different. When yes. when he was in his prime of R and B, we were in the age of love songs. We're not in the age of love songs anymore. We're in the age of heartbreak songs. So. There's no more the of the I love you baby making songs. It's the angry sex songs uh-huh. now. Like so yeah, the dynamic of the genre has definitely changed. Yep. But you're getting a new version and a great version of, of R and B. Absolutely, man. And and I agree, like these days a lot of people say the music is more toxic and that's what more people go to. Um, but a lot of artists that we named are still on that original rhythm and blues sound the love making like we said lucky day uh man neo dropped the album this year tank just dropped an album on friday as well like the R- the r&b is still here i'm just gonna name some people because we were just going off top of our head and of course we missed some people uh i've been talking about Dijon, tiana taylor jeremiah tory lanes um i've been talking about they um let, let, let's go through blue Chris Brown, Kehlani, uh, SZA, Ella May, uh, we got Leela James, Tim's, 7th Street, or 7th Streeter, my apologies. Um, let's see. We got, of course, I said the internet, which which holds Sid, Division, Mahalia. I, I, I'm, I'm just naming names after names after names. We got Tiller, Jasmine Sullivan. Like, what, what? We could go the whole part, bro. Like. R and B is not dead, man. I just, I just don't Ari. agree with that. Sorry. Yeah, well, yeah, we mentioned Ari, um, but yeah, I just don't, I don't agree, man. I just think, like you said, we're in a new state of R and B, a new sound of R and B. But R and B music is alive and well. It has been for the last few years. One hundred and fifty percent. So did you hear that shit? Bruno and Anderson Pack just put out. Like what the fuck? <laughs> that was rhythm and blues at its core. Like it was damn near just soul. Nigga. Like nigga, what? <laughs> like, what are we talking about? Niggas won like six Grammys off that shit. What you mean? Just two years ago, we had a full on argument over who the king of R and B was. Right. The fuck are we talking about? Facts, facts. He's on a promo run, like you said. Um, I want to get into Chris Brown. 
he responded to him. He said, when's the last time you heard a slow song on the radio? Niggas saying R&B is dead. Respectfully, shut up. People nowadays want fast food instead of a real meal. Don't blame the real singers out here because channels do people because channels because what channels do. People have to see music videos. BET damn sure don't. Neither does MTV. And then the industry be forcing shit on people when the real music lovers know that shit is garbage. So that just kind of leads to my, my point earlier. He couldn't have said that better. My point earlier. Yeah, like they, it's not being pushed the same, bro. It's not being pushed. Like R&B is, uh, they're trying to make it like a lost art and it's really not. And there's really so many R&B artists out here doing it. It's like R&B is like a shadow band genre. Right, bro. Which is crazy because it's producing some of the best talent. Some of the best artists are definitely in the R&B category. And I hate to say this. Um, we've seen this happen with Nicki Minaj, things like that, when she didn't know who Don Q was way back when. Um, the same way when you see a brand new album coming out and Diddy grabbed a Bryson Tiller song that was three years old. Diddy is so high up, he don't have his ear to the motherfucking street. I love Diddy. Mm -hmm. His ear is not to the fucking street. So, like, you can't say... It's dead mm -hmm. because your ear is way up there. It's yeah. not. It's not down to the niggas on the the in ground the level that's really doing that shit. Streets, like yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's plenty of people smoking this R and B game. Yeah, I just thought of another one. Uh, Blast, even though he's still like a rapper, I st I think that nigga's an R and B ar artist. <laughs> yeah, there's people like that that are just yeah, straight yeah. killing it. Yeah, bro. So, um, so nah, and I get he's saying this. Like I said, album on the way. Mm -hmm. He's got his own. Love records, which is supposed to be specifically R and B, that he's using this energy to try to revamp yeah, the bro. name of R and B with his label. Like, yeah, I yeah. get it, I get yeah. it. Duh, D I pro get it. market, That's market your business. Do what you need to do. He been dancing. I've been seeing him. Everybody's reels, TikTok. He dancing to the song. Absolutely, hit um, hit maker. Uh, he he told you shut that shit up. Yeah, bro. And See, that's that's somebody who has their ear to the street, so they know. Now, yes. Now that is what I will say. Like what? Hitmaker, when it comes to Young Berg and and going crazy on a damn R and B beat, it doesn't matter if he gathers all rappers for it. He's gonna curate an R and B vibe and he's been doing it the best of the best of the best for the last fifteen years. Yep. If if anybody knows whether the state of R and B is alive right now, it's Youngberg, aka Hitmaker. Mm -hmm. It's well, it's alive and well. He told him Diddy then lost his damn mind talking about R and B's dead. <laughs> it's so much good R and B out. If uh, if you can't notice, you, you got to be out of touch. Yeah, just stop like we strolling. Said. Like we said, the two last things he just said were exactly. He wrapped that up in a short tweet. Yep. Out of touch. And you're trolling for your new album. Yep. <laughs> All in one. Stop it, Diddy. He really, we really could have just read his tweet right, and moved right. on. And I was gonna say a bit out the conversation, but uh, nah, Diddy, stop it, bro. We understand. <laughs> we we know the music that you probably have coming is great. I get it. You want to be on top. You want to bad boy this shit again with with Love Records. I get it. I get it. But don't do this. Like, don't and don't do this, bro. This is another instance we just talked about. Or I talked to you about in pre-production. Nas did this in like oh two, oh yeah. three, whenever it was still Matic or rap is uh rap is dead. The rap is dead. Is, hip hop is dead album. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Hip hop was alive and well then. <laughs> Bro, that was like the peak of hip hop at that point. <laughs> He had niggas all on his back. Niggas was on the train. All the yeah, old bro. niggas from rap were like, you're damn right, hip-hop's dead. The oh new niggas God. were fighting for the resurgence oh of hip-hop. We're not going to go through this all over again. Diddy looked at the Nas blueprint of hip-hop was dead and was like, oh, I can run an album out like this? But look, Diddy, social media wasn't out at Stop that, that time. <laughs> Stop that shit, Diddy. <laughs> niggas will drill your ass, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, Pause. niggas not playing. Why do you keep doing that, Clark? <laughs> Come on, fam. My fault. Why you keep doing that, man? <laughs> My fault, man. My bro. Fault, hey, dog. My fault. What the hell? My, yeah, that one was bad. Niggas will drill your ass? <laughs> That was bad. Oh my gosh, my Kari. Bad. Why you keep doing that, bro? I'm trying, bro. I don't even know. Oh my God. Pause. Yeah. I'm really not like this all the time, guys. No, you're not. Why do yeah. you do this on mic? I don't know, bro. I've been sleeping. It's like he waits till he gets on wax to, right. to fumble his words. Yeah, bro. I'm tripping. We need an etiquette class for this guy. <laughs> 
I'm tripping, bro. But nah, niggas are really like for real. During the social media, you can't get this shit off that niggas was getting off back then in the early 2000s. Like, it's not going to work. Absolutely it's not. not. It's not going to work. But like we said, we get it. The album promo, he even um, was posted up with, with JD recently. That's another thing that Diddy is just keeping his name out there. Well, JD actually responded to it and said the R&B is not dead. Right, right. But I'm just saying, like, Diddy is keeping his name out there. Remember, he did the Carisha shit. That album's on the way. Gave her her show. That Diddy. I mean, of course, Come the label, now. the label, of course, is vamping up. Mm-hmm. But that Diddy album already it got pushed back due to the pandemic. That yeah. was supposed to come out last year. Yeah, yeah. That Diddy album is on the way for sure this year. Mm-hmm. You might get, you might get that somewhere between. This month and like before October's up, you're gonna get that Diddy album. I say, maybe. I don't doubt it. Um, but yeah, he did the Carisha please thing. He's he's still all in the light with Carisha. Yeah, yeah. Um, so him and JD was posted up. That's what I wanted to bring up. You had mentioned. So um, they were talking about. So we told y'all last episode about Triller and uh, Versus. Mm-hmm. Them being sued. So JD and Diddy hopped on Instagram Live and they were having a conversation about that, right? And they they said whatever they wanted to say about that. But inside of that conversation, you know, of course, the conversation gets brought up about a versus between Diddy and JD. Right. Possible versus down the road. So Diddy was like, you know, this is not going to be no... No real battle. This is just some some hit for hit shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all the like pin us against each other. Let's just go hit for hit. So I want to ask you in a hit for hit versus battle, JD versus Diddy. Who you rolling with? Diddy. Ooh. I like. I think I like. I think JD's I'm catalog Diddy, more. I don't know. I think I might like JD's catalog more, but I think it, when it comes to hits r&b hits hip-hop hits when it comes to hip-hop hits jd don't got enough for him you ain't you don't got enough crisscross the brat and bow wow no to, to whoop diddy's ass oh nah, yeah you sleep <laughs> who we jagged edge jagged edge was so so deaf wasn't he I, yeah i think so that, uh, and for that we got i mean i love jagged edge it's my favorite 90s group but for that we got 112 i'm going jd and then we got Mary. Yeah. And then we got Jodeci. And then we got Craig Mack. And then we got Biggie. And then we got Kim. And then we got himself. And then we got Diddy Kane. Then we got Diddy Dirty Money. Then we got like a lot of the tracks from French Montana that he gets to play. And I'm not even naming all of the old, old school music that he's, that he's touched. JD got hits though, bro. He got hella hits that may not be like only from his label. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, you're right. Like, bad Diddy has a lot of like bad boy homegrown shit that he did himself. JD was touching everybody's shit, so that's why I think in a hit for hit battle, I think JD might give Diddy a run for his money. But, okay. um, like you said, bro, it's definitely that would be that head to head battle. Come on, now, yes, bro. one of those. That's, that's talent all across the board. 